Those of you who like the Sermon on the Mount and Matthew will love the next four weeks. We are in the Sermon on the Mount for four weeks. It's an ethics and a morality that changes the world. And it begins, as Olwyn is going to share with us, with this call, with what is called the Beatitudes. Today's gospel lesson comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, beginning with the first verse. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. And blessed are the pure in spirit of heart, for they will see God. And blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. And blessed are the righteousness when, people, when they are persecuted, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil falsely against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the gospel of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks, Alwyn. Join me in a word of prayer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. I, uh, last week, wanted to find out a little bit more about how the other half lives. So I went online. It's a dangerous thing to do, of course, but let me share with you what I found. At the Emmy Awards last September, somebody named Sean Robinson. Anybody know a Sean Robinson? Some... Sean Robinson wore a, something called a silver mist cuff containing 28 carats of diamonds. The cost, 20,000 bucks. Not to be outdone, Sherry Psalm, whoever that is, yeah, wore a diamond necklace, 54 carats, I'm sorry, 54 diamonds, 84 carats, $975,000. Jennifer, I think you should speak to Walter. <laughs> Isn't your anniversary coming up? Yeah. <laughs> At the Oscars last year, Naomi Watts, now I had heard of her, was decked out in an Armani dress, Jimmy Choo shoes, and Neil Lane jewelry. And trust me, you don't even want to know what the dress costs. But I saved the best for last, at least the best in my opinion. You'll realize it the minute I start talking about it. At the Pebble Beach car auction. <laughs> A 1967 Ferrari Nart Spider. I know what Nart stands for. That's kind of frightening. The convertible was sold to a Canadian fashion mogul. Now, hear me, folks. They only made 10 of them. Sale price, and that in and of itself is an oxymoron, $27.5 million. <laughs> That's how the other half lives. The beautiful people, the, 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 the successful people, the people that you and I have been taught that we should wish that we wanted to be like. And can I tell you, up until Saturday, it was beyond my reach. <laughs> 
But then the sky opened. And I thank my lucky stars. I didn't buy a lottery ticket. I was surfing through my television set. And I came upon, you're not going to believe this, I came upon, of all things, the 700 Club. <laughs> it changed my life. There was a man on there, a well-dressed man, who started talking about, you'll never guess what, tithing. He said that he started tithing and God made him a millionaire. Boats, second houses, third cars. He could afford it all. And he said it all started with tithing. That's the secret. If you tithe, God will make you rich. Jimmy Choo Shoes, here we come. <laughs> then I made a mistake. I turned off my television. And I bumped into this text. I should have stuck with the 700 Club. <laughs> Apparently, God's goal in my life is not to make me rich. It's to call me blessed. And do you know who the blessed are in God's kingdom? Not the folks, necessarily the folks, who can wear thousand upon thousand of dollars of Armani dresses, but those who mourn at the pain of the world who see and struggle with the difference between the world, way the world is and the way God wants it to be. Not the 84 carat set, but the righteous who live generous lives, who care for the poor, who seek justice, all of those countless thousands of angels on the Atlanta city streets last week. You want to know who the blessed are in our world? Not the people who spend $27.5 million for a car, but the meek who wait patiently for God and who are pleased with what they have. The merciful who, to use Tom Long's words, are more interested in compassion than vengeance, more concerned about forgiveness than punishment. Incidentally, this is a true story, that family who sold the Ferrari for $27.5 million, they gave every dime of it to charity. Blessed be that family. The man on the 700 Club was wrong. Tithing won't make you rich. But it may connect you more and more to the one who comes to bring a kingdom that's priceless beyond telling. One more thought about this text. Notice the verb tenses. They're both present tense and future tense. Blessed are the poor in heart. They will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers. They will be called children of God. They are blessed now because of what something that is about to happen later on. They are blessed now because of a kingdom that will come and is coming and has already come. In this money-hungry, fame-starved starved world, ladies and gentlemen, there is another way to live. A way of life that's measured not by how much we have, but by how much we have given away. Measured not by glitz and glamour, fame and fortune, but by servanthood and sharing, faith 
and fellowship. Living that way of life may not make you a millionaire, but it will call you blessed. And it will join you to the millions of others like you who have seen and caught a glimpse of a new way of living. So maybe to Jesus' nine Beatitudes, we ought to add one more. Blessed are those who understand a new definition for what it means to be rich and who follow the one whose life is that definition. Amen.